Hello everyone, it's DC here and uh, I'm about to get on a plane to Shanghai. Unfortunately, my uh, flight has been delayed by one hour uh, at the moment. So yeah, I'm just chilling, having some coffee and uh, waiting for the, uh, the plane to turn up. So cheers. Shanghai was a, a pretty fun little stop, but I was only there for one night and uh, early the next day I had to fly to Osaka, which was uh, very early. This was taken at around 5am in the morning and uh, yeah, it, it wasn't awfully fun getting to the airport, but um, yeah, it, it was a good flight nonetheless and uh, Osaka was raining when I turned up, which was um, <laughs> less than ideal, but it has a, a strange beauty to it. My God, there is a Pokemon Center. I spent most of the day in the Asahi Museum to have a look around and because it was only about a $10 Australian to go through the whole brewery tour and get two beers, which in Australian dollars was absolutely worth it. Later that night, we, uh, me and my, my friends went through a place called Dotombori, which is like a shopping eating district in Osaka. And there's so much interesting stuff to see here. Let's take a look. <laughs> Next day started with a train trip out to Kyoto, which I wanted to see this uh, like old village place and just to have a look around in Kyoto because it's such a beautiful place. I highly recommend anyone going to Osaka to make a trip out to Kyoto just to take a look at the temples and uh, embrace that old lifestyle. After visiting the temples in Kyoto, we went through this street which leads down from the temple into the town and we just wanted to try some different food and have a look around at some of the shops and the, the lifestyle of this area. It was truly beautiful, I, I highly recommend it to anyone who, who does visit that massive temple to then go through the town and just have a look around. It's truly a beautiful place. Next day we went into Osaka again to have a look at an annual sumo wrestling competition. This place was absolutely packed out. It started off not too busy but honestly this was a really eye-opening experience and something I would highly recommend to anyone traveling to Osaka or Japan to definitely take a look at. <laughs> Next day we went to Kobe which was a trip we wanted to make to obviously try the Kobe beef which we absolutely did and to have a look around the town and see what everything was about and you know what it looked like. <laughs> Sure? 
after lunch we took a cable car to the top of a garden area thing i can't remember exactly what the garden name was but it was right up on top of one of the mountains that overlooked the city as you can see here and the view was absolutely incredible you could see the entire town all of the little island areas around it it was a beautiful clear day and the the garden area itself was actually quite nice there was restaurants bars some places to eat as well and yeah it was, it was just a, a beautiful day up there where we enjoyed foot baths we had some ice cream we saw waterfalls it was amazing highly highly recommend going up to those gardens the next day and my last day in Osaka we decided to head to the Osaka castle to have a look at the museum that's inside the castle just to take a look at, at what it's all about and learn about some of that Edo history and it was absolutely worthwhile taking a, a day to have a look around there was so many people though the lineup to get into the castle did take us a while but as you can see the view from the top is exquisite you can see most of osaka city from here <laughs> My last few hours in Japan in Osaka was spent shopping and uh, I almost missed my flight back to Shanghai. I spent most of the day uh, hanging out with one of my friends in Shanghai and going to cafes and bars and, and just sort of enjoying myself and winding down from the, the week of travels through Japan and uh, I just wanted to sort of relax a little bit and see some of the sights here that I hadn't seen before.